Hello, I'm Marvin Whiting, and I want to welcome you to this Credo moment. A number of you in the Navy may have heard of Credo, may have attended one of our marriage enrichment retreats, our family enrichment retreats, or the leadership development retreats that we do from time to time. If you haven't attended one of those, maybe you have gone to one of the suicide prevention workshops, such as Safe Talk or Assist. For those of you who don't know, Credo stands for Chaplain Religious Enrichment Development Operation. What Credo really focuses on is strengthening the, the skill set of the meaningful relationships of those in the Navy, Navy, Marine Corps, Coast Guard, as well as their families and DOD civilians. People are the Navy's greatest asset. And since 1971, Credo has been one of the best ways the Navy has taken care of people. Credo thrives out of CNIC's mission, sustaining the fleet, enabling the fighter, and supporting the family. I'm proud as Director of Credo and Commander Navy Region Southeast to work with a team that daily builds upon the CNO's leadership framework of competence, character, and connectedness. Although these are difficult times, restrictive times, with the COVID, with the COVID pandemic, I want you to know that the Credo Southeast team of chaplains, RPs, and civilian facilitators will be posting short and concise uh, virtual relationship trainings and webinars that will enhance your meaningful relationships. With these skills, I assure you, you will be better equipped to handle the challenges that lie ahead with COVID-19. We are truly in this together. Now I wanna just share a quick inspirational thought with you to kind of help you during these difficult times. One of the first things I want to share with you, one of the, the things that we talk about, the things that we do in some of our retreats, is that we have this little game called spotting. On the back of these little cards are just little small pictures. None of the pictures are the same. They're just small individual pictures. Some of them, uh, some of the pictures might be a light bulb or the picture of the sun, or a bone, um, or a number of different things. The reason why we play this little game uh, at the beginning is kind of like an icebreaker for the couples or the families. What we do is we have them pick a random card, and on the back of the card we ask them to just select one picture that bring some level of happiness or, or joy or some, something that uplifts you in some, talk, some type of way. And each one of them just randomly selects a card. It's, it's so powerful to see uh, how when they select these cards, something resonates with them. I share this with you because uh, the first thing I want to inspire you during this time of the of COVID-19 is to seek out the little things that will uplift you. There are times couples will look at the back of the card and they may see a sun and they sat on the beach and just them, or they met on the beach and just them remembering that moment brings a smile as they share why they chose that picture. Uh, other family members have a dog that they really enjoy and they love and they will see the bone. And when they begin to talk uh, about the picture of the, of the bone, they, they then share with us how meaningful it is to have the dog in their lives. Some of them even pick the picture of, of a yin and a yang, some couples, and they find so much joy in their differences. So during this COVID-19, I wanna inspire you to just Think about a few of the little things. Uh, allow those little things to uplift you. The next thing I wanna share with you is stay open to be connected. I have a close friend who's like a sister to me that lives in Italy. Recently, 
Uh, she communicated uh, to the friends and family uh, over, over Facebook. Uh, she had all of her gloves on, she had a mask on, and, and she was staying connected. She was just letting us know that she was, she was okay. She showed us pictures of the, of the street and there was no one walking the streets. Uh, this is a very difficult time. It is a very restricted time. But it is also a time that we need to stay connected. Is there someone that because life was so busy that you haven't called and talked to in a while? And now that COVID-19 is here and we're all restricted and we can't go anywhere, you have a little extra time on your hand, I want to encourage you to stay connected. Make a phone call that you probably hadn't made because life was so busy. Uh, send a Facebook post or a message to someone you may have not communicated with in quite some time. This is a time that we need to stay connected. And the last thing I want to share with you is to celebrate what's right with the world. There's a YouTube uh, TED Talk by DeWitt Jones and it is entitled Celebrate What's Right with the World. DeWitt Jones is a photographer for National Geographic and he has a, a number of pictures that he that he shares and he talks about the vision of the National Geographic and their vision was to celebrate what's right with the world. DeWitt talks about the fact that this particular vision that that the National Ge Geographic challenged him with kind of changed his life. Because when you celebrate what's right with the world, it makes things a whole lot different. A number of us have uh, struggled with that particular challenge because we asked the question, why do we need to celebrate what's right with the world when we have uh, COVID-19 going on? But I wanna challenge you that if you, it is a better thing to celebrate what's right with the world as opposed to wallowing in what is wrong with it. One of the main points he talks about is our vision controls our perception and our perception becomes our reality. This beautiful picture in front of you is just one of those things that helps us understand how our vision can be changed. And the second thing I wanna share with you about celebrating what's right with the world is that by celebrating what's right with the world, it does not deny that we have real problems. Celebrating what's right with the world does not remove COVID-19 or anything else that's bad in our life or in our lives. It's kind of like seeing something that's dry and bleak as this picture that DeWitt Jones displays. But as he talks about in his TED talk, if you just get inside the crevices, the picture that you will find is something very different. It completely changes your perspective. COVID-19 is here, but if we celebrate what's right, we celebrate healthcare workers that are sacrificing themselves for the greater good. If we celebrate what's right, we celebrate a community that's looking out for one another by, by staying inside and doing the things that need to be done. If we celebrate what's right, we also celebrate companies paying workers uh, when they're not able to go to work. There are a lot of things that are going on that are challenging and difficult, and specifically this pandemic for us at this particular time. But I wanna encourage you to seek out the little things, stay connected with others, and celebrate what's right with the world. I wanna thank you for kind of taking a moment. This has been a cradle moment. I'm Marvin Whiting. Cradle Director, Command Navy Region, Southeast. Take care.